Hi everybody, my name is Jan Dufour and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I live just outside of Louisville, Kentucky. Today we're going to be making a valentine with Be My Valentine. Don't be surprised though because this can also be used for other things besides Valentine's Day. There is a love you, you'll always be the one for, be the one for me. Um, you're as sweet as honey. So those are all things that can be used not just for Valentine's Day. Um, they have some very clever stamps that go very well with the punch, the bee builder punch. This is the body with the tail, this is the wings, and these are the antennae. But obviously this could be a thought bubble and two different hearts. So it comes out very, very conveniently. So <clears throat> I wanted to show you the simple one. And by simple, I don't mean bad. It's a, it's a good thing, especially if you're in a hurry. Um, this is a two inch, mm, I think they call it a two inch box, square pillow box. We don't really give the dimensions. Um, we're gonna be making a different one today. Um, I don't know if it's my New Year's resolution. I don't know how long I'll, I'll keep doing it, but I do try to make variations of it just so that you can see um, different ways to do the same thing, essentially. So we're, we're going to expound on this. We're going to go a little bit um, heavier than that. I do want to show you, first of all, if you have any questions, my email is jandufour at yahoo.com. Also, if you don't have a demonstrator and would like a free catalog, this is in the new mini catalog that's good until the end of August, uh, April. And um, if you are on YouTube and you are looking for the project sheet, which will tell you how to cut things, what I put on there, what the products I used, etc., you can go to my blog, which is stampmesilly.com. And if you do want to shop online, you can go to jandufour.stampinup.net. All right, business is done. Um, I do want to mention one more thing because I'm using it. During the month of January and February is our celebration. And that means for a $50 order without tax or shipping, you can get to choose free gifts. Um, there's paper, there's stamps, there's um, ribbon. Uh, and there's also a couple of sets like this is with a free with a $50. This is one I'm trying to think I used it. I've filmed ahead, so I can't remember if it's the one before or the one after this one. However, I did use that. That's a $50 order. This one with $100 will also get you all of the die cuts. But anyway, so there's, there's lots of things. But there's also a join promotion, which normal join promotion is for $99. You get $125 worth of any product you want. Um, they'll send you catalogs and stuff, which don't cost you anything. Um, if you choose, there's a special option, which this, uh, this time there's a choice of two. You can get this beautiful glass mat. I think it's 17 by 14, I think is the size. With that comes a silicone pad. It's one of those ones that don't move around. I'll show you using it when I use my blending brush later on. Um, and then you also get the new version of their chamois. I'm not sure what they're calling it, um, but when it dries, it does not dry stiff and malformed <laughs> like our old chamois. It's thinner, um, it's very comfortable to use, just uh, to show you when I'm done with it, you know, some of these will never come off and it doesn't matter because it's just as effective. Sometimes you do have to kind of rinse it out when it gets a little bit of ink heavy, but I keep it in, I put it at my chamois in here. I don't use the chamois anymore. I'll have to change the picture, but I just use it inside here to keep it away even when it's wet because I punched holes and that'll help it dry without molding. It's been in this package for four days. It is still slightly damp believe it or not, um, and it doesn't smell at all. So that's working fine. So we'll keep this to the side because we'll be using that. Um, so the joint promotion is you get those three things free just for joining, 
or if you would prefer to have more product rather than this, you, you can choose option two, which is $30 of additional product. So it'd be $155 worth of um, product for 99. There is no pressure if you sign up under me. You can, I, my sister has already joined and dropped twice, so I have no concerns with that. Um, but you could get yourself oriented with the Stampin' Up! family there. It's an awesome company and we have a lot of fun. Okay, on to the project. So this time we're going to use this um, and it's got score marks in it, as you can see, and they're rounded. So you wonder, how do I do that? You put your fingers right by the score mark and just gently form them until they all bend where they're supposed to. So there's a bunch of them. We'll just go around and get those all started. And then once you've got it good in and bent, you can, you know, make the corners a little bit sharper. Um, again, we're, we're bending this down. There we go. Here. And then this one is also gonna bend. Um, let's see, I'm trying, it's hard for me to use my long fingers in that direction, but we'll try it this way, this will work. Um, so of course you want this to be sharp as well. So you kind of, after you get those down, now you'll notice here, they already even have the tape on it. You don't even have to worry about putting the tape on it. It's amazing, it's awesome. You get, what did you get? Eight or 10? You get 10, right? Yeah, you get 10 of them. Um, it's part of the bundle and I'll show you that momentarily because now I can show you the inside of the catalog. All right, so we got them all. We got them all bent to the way they're supposed to be. It makes a box. All right, so we're opening it back up again. Um, what was I going to show you? Oh yeah, the be mine. So in it, it does come in a sweet form, which means they have a whole bundle of products. The sweet collection is seventy five dollars, which is a pretty good deal. But I always like to tell people the bundle with the, the punch and the stamp set is where you get the deal, the 10% the off. So if you don't want to purchase all of this, but you want this and say the ribbon, you're not losing out because you didn't get the suite. Um, you only lose out if you order these separately because that's where the $10 uh, or the 10% discount is. Uh, you can get the beautiful papers. I'll show you a couple of them, and um, you get these really cute um, adhesive-backed hearts, but there's also flowers and daisies. It's, they're very cute. And the fun thing, or one of the fun things I think, is that they match perfectly to opaque faceted gems, which there's a lot more of, so you could mix and match and put those in there together to make it fun. All right, so that's this. And then, of course, the ribbon and the pillow boxes. The pillow boxes are $8 for 10 of them. So that's a pretty good deal. Good good little treats. Inside my treats, <laughs> not this one, this one, I have three uh, Ghirardelli chocolates. I only put three of them in because there was three of this one. You can actually squeeze six of them in there. So there's a pretty good... Um, bunch of room in there. It's uh, about two and a half this way and about uh, one and three quarters tall. So you can, you can get a pretty good item in there. All right. So this time we're going to try something a little bit different. Um, and I will show you yet a third option that I tried. I thought about putting, this is, you know, quite simple, quite cute, quite quick. So all of those things are awesome. But I thought, well, what would happen if I tried to use DSP? Now I foolishly tried to make it this shape. I made it, I put this inside out and I was trying to draw the curves and that was not successful. So don't, I mean, unless you have lots and lots of patience, um, I would not mess with it. So this one, this she, this square is two and three eighths square. A little bit bigger, I think this is two and a half. Yes, it's two and a half. And that goes edge to edge. Um, so you have to decide 
which one you like. I'm gonna use the, a little bit smaller one. And I'm gonna glue that on now and then use my handy dandy uh, paperweight. As you can see, the other side is really cute too, but a little bit too busy for what we're trying to do. Um, in this case, I would make sure that I'm putting glue right to the edge just because there is a curve in the, in the box and we wanna make sure that it, um, it curves with it. Now, as you can see, I'm putting it down. I am not pressing it down because I want to make sure that the corners or the points go down the points. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then get my very large stamp, which I never use except as a paperweight. We'll do that. All right, so now let's go ahead and make the B. The B is fun to make. Um, you know, the solid piece, the stripes, you use the antenna, a face. I've got two other faces. I'm going to pick, let's see, I used that one, that one. Oh, I don't like this one. He looks like he's not mad, but staring off to the side. And so I'm not going to use him. But that could that could be handy sometimes. I am gonna use, let's see, what's this guy? Nope, he's the guy staring. I'm gonna use this guy, the traditional happy face, if you will. Um, let's see, yep, I'm taking this one off. Okay, I need to put this back because it's so very tiny and I want to not lose it. All right, so to make the B, there's a couple things you can do. You can stamp, it is a, um, Poly, uh, what am I trying to say? It is a polymer. <laughs> I've lost my mind. Um, it's a polymer stamp set, so you can see through, which is great. You can use, whoops, you can use a, um, a clear block. I'm having a hard time holding these. Woo, sliding. Um, you could do that, or I found even if I'm making just a couple, it's easier for me to use my Stamparatus. I know we don't sell a Stamparatus anymore. I'm showing it to you because I want you to see what a stamp positioner does. If you go and Google on my website, which is stampmesilly.com, I created a stamp positioner and it works very well. Um, it's, it's, pretty accurate most of the time. Um, it's way better than just stamping by yourself. Um, and if you're careful with it, it, it works really good. I've been using this for a long time, uh, probably six months, um, but I had already mounted it on this one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it there. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is punch out on a a larger size square so that this doesn't bump up right on the edges, right? And you just go ahead and stamp it because they're all in position. Then you can do one of a couple of things. You can put this in here, which is, this is what I did. Um, I'm gonna get ink all over me, but I'll show you how I do it. You put the stamp where you think it goes. And I kind of, it's, it's built up, so I kind of do this and then try to get it as close to center as I can. Then I would recommend that you test it to make sure that it's in the right space without using any of your, your good card stock. And of course, I went ahead and put two things on the same, um, on the same side, which you probably wouldn't do if you're not used to stamping. But I'll go ahead and do this and we'll see how well it did. It's a little off center. So what I'm gonna do is clean it first. Uh, I thought I had it clean. Oh, here it is. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it because I don't wanna get my fingers all over it. Um, and I'm gonna move it. So really what I wanna do is move it a little bit up, a little bit up and back. So we'll just try to Put it there now again you can see through so if you're just doing one of these this isn't necessary um i'm gonna go ahead and turn my paper so i can make sure that it's in the right spot put it up in the corner up in the corner 
and put some ink on it. I'm going to take these little wings off. We'll do them separate. Makes It makes it doing, oops, I'm not even showing you what I'm doing. Ta-da. It's a new pat. It's a new glass mat for me. So I'm still getting used to the dimensions. But there you go. I'm going to stamp it again and say, oh, I like that much better. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead, kind of stick it in there. And you want it flush. Now right here, there's a, a little bit of an opening. It means it's off center a little bit. So I want to move it down. There we go. Until it's flush. Then I can go ahead and stamp. And this is great for when you want to do a bunch of them. If you're doing, you know, three, four, five Bs, this is a great way to do it. So there I have it. It's just right where it needs to be. Um, and then you turn it around. And I've already positioned this. I know it's in the right spot. I won't take it off and demonstrate again. I have, um, again, do stamp positioners and you'll see um, several tutorials on how to, oops, how to use it. We're gonna put the little, oops, I better put this back in. That'll work better. Put it where it fits. I'm gonna put the black stripes and his black tail. The nice thing about a stamp positioner too is if it doesn't stamp well, <laughs> you can do it again. All right, so there he is, he's doing good. Now we need some wings. Um, the wings are small enough and again, I'm only doing it once, so I'm gonna put this aside and just go ahead and stamp the wings. The wings are the, the, wings are the bigger heart. Um, let me get a block. And I decided to do pool party. When you look at it in the, in the catalog, it tells you all of the colors that it uses down here. So if you're wondering what the colors combinations are, that's also the colors that are in the um, DSP. So go ahead and do that. Pool party is very light, so... And I'm doing this at an angle, so it's a little bit harder, but we'll see how we did. Um, I'm going to do it again on the other side. I was a little bit low. Let's see if I can stay out of the camera and do it higher. Let's see what happens with this one. I like that better. Okay, so there are my, my little guys. I don't need pool party anymore. Now, I also need the face on my bee. So let's put the face. I want to be able to see the face. There we go. And we can stamp both the face, which we're going to put right, oops, right here. And then we're going to go ahead and do the little heart, which is his antennas. Again, however you want to use them, but in this particular case, it is, I really need, you know what I'm going to do? This is the beginning of the year. I'm going to go ahead and um, re-ink some of my, my pads. I'm going to pull it down some more because I need to be able to see on top of it. It works really good if you can look from the top. There you go. There's my, my little guys. Uh, let's see. Don't need that now. All right. I'm going to put my bee together so that the bee can be drying while I'm doing the rest of it. Put that off there. So what I mean by drying is, so the B, this is a silicone mat. Um, because I'm, I have the glass mat, I could do it right on the glass mat because the, the ink will just wipe up as opposed to if you use a piece of paper underneath you. But I have the glass mat out, so I'm gonna do it. I'll go ahead, <clears throat> put a little bit of glue right here. I'll lift him up a little bit. Oops, and put the little bee wings right there. And then I have to do the same with his little antenna. And that is gonna go, those can go anywhere. You can make them kind of, you can make really silly looking bees. They're fun. Um, I'll slip that right there. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside so it can dry while I'm doing other stuff. All right, so we've we've attached this. 
I'll put that on my B off to the side here. So now I want to, I, I essentially want it to look the same with a different background. So I am gonna go ahead and stamp the set sentiment. Um, I think, yeah, I'm still gonna do it in our black. I'm hiding all of my stuff. And it's best if you do it right side up, I've noticed. All right, so I'm just gonna put that in the corner. It stamps very well. And then we're gonna put some hearts. And because, because it's um, got a little bit going on, I'm just gonna do, unlike this one, I did a couple. This is the same color as that, it probably won't show up. Pool party probably wouldn't show up either. So I'm gonna use the sweet sorbet and do the bigger heart. And that will bring out, no, nope, that's the face. Here's the heart. All right, so we're gonna do sweet sorbet right up here. If you're wondering why when I put it down, I hold it a minute, is I'm allowing time for the ink to transfer to the paper. Um, depending on what paper you're using, it may or may not make a difference, but um, I just like to hold it for a second. All right, so there we go. We're gonna do a fake bow, just a little bit to um, put underneath them for some color. So to make the fake bow, put this here. You can make it any size you want. Um, I don't even know how much, what size it is because I didn't measure it, let's see. So that would be two, four, six, eight. You know, about eight inches would probably work. Let's test it. I'll do eight inches. And then I can put that aside. And then I'm gonna use a, a lot of time on ribbon. I will use our glue dots. Uh, you can use dimensionals as well, but I'm already gonna put dimensionals on uh, the B underneath. So you may not wanna do that. Now, instead of making it completely straight like this, which is what you traditionally do with a bow, since it's not a real bow, I'm gonna make it swivel a little bit. So I'm gonna put a glue dot under this piece right here. Oops, I missed one. It's all right, I can go back and use it. There we go. Then I'm gonna put a glue dot, which I missed over here on that edge and bring that one down. And again, you can you can twirl it or not twirl it. That It's totally up to you, but I'm gonna twirl it. All right, and then I'm gonna put two or three, did I miss any more? Two or three glue dots on the back of the bow. Um, one may swivel, it might rotate, because if there's only one, it'll pivot. So I always put at least two, sometimes three. This is a big, a big bow in a small area. So I'm gonna put three and just place that kind of out like that. And then where's my B? Oh, yep, over here. So my B is dry. I'm gonna go ahead and we're only gonna be putting the B dimensionally wise over here. So that's where I'm gonna put the dimensions, not up on the wings, because those are kind of flying free. Whoops, come back. This little bee gives me trouble. He's, he's all over the place. All right, take these off. I will find these down in my bedroom sometime. They stick to your shoes and your clothes and all right, so I'm putting my B on about like this. There you have it. So he's a little bit different than this one. Not any harder, it's just different. Um, I kind of like the color in the background. So um, we'll go to these, um, the part that's got the tape on it. It's like tear and tape only in the shape of the not an oval, I don't know what you call these shapes, but anyway. Um, and so what you do is you kind of bend them, right? And you bring this one down and you do one at a time. And you have time, I mean, they stick, but if you have pre-folded them, you can kind of like 
force them to go where they belong along the edge. And then when you get there, press it down and then you can go back and reinforce that. So we'll do it again. I kind of keep it down until I get to the one here above it. I'm kind of keeping it in the right position, holding it down and there you go. At this time you would want to put your treats in there. I told you three of them fit in there quite nicely. There's, there's room for other stuff in there. Like I said, I could actually put six of them in there. And then because this is the top, you want this one down. So you put the other one first. The nice thing is, is it's a self-closing box. You don't have to, you don't have to put anything on it, tape. And then they can just lift this up and get the treat out. And then I'm going to just show you one more that I did. So I'll bring these back. So here's a simple one. This is a little bit stepped up. And I don't know if you would call this the most stepped up. It's not really. Instead of paper on the background, I actually used my blending brush. Um, and this, I'll show you how I did it real quick. Um, whoops. I guess I'm going to have to make another bead because I've got another box going here. Um, so what I, oops, there's two there. So what I did was, this is the top. I went ahead and did the folding, like we talked about, keeping your fingers underneath the place you want it to bend. I did that for the, all the sections that would make up the top. And then using my new mat, I'm gonna put this here, put the ink here. And if you'll recall, the bee is always up in the corner. Now, normally when you use, um, when you're using a blending, you, you pick up the ink and then you kind of rub it somewhere else, which I could do on the mat if I wanted to just get away, you know, a little bit of the ink. Um, it's not that important though, because I'm going to start here where it might be darker, as you can see. And by keeping this folded when I'm in that area, I'm going to turn it for me. I'm just doing this. So I'm picking up more ink, kind of starting it here and coming out. And as long as it's bent, um, it will stay in the position and keep the brush up on the top. Um, before I get to that other edge, I'm going to bend that down. And it doesn't take very long. Um, and you can go back and make it as dark or as light as you want. Actually, with the pool party, it kind of looks like it's clouds. You know, the sky with some puffy clouds. So it doesn't have to be perfect. I did go down like to the edges because I wanted, you have to hold them, hold them down where you want. Um, there we go. And there you have it. So you've got the colored background without using any DSP. And what that ends up looking like is this one here. I hope you enjoyed the three different versions that I've made. Two of them are heavy because they're treats in them. This one's not, but anyway. This set is re really versatile. Um, if you don't put the stripes on the bee and you make the bee a different color, it can be something else beside the bumblebee. It can just be a bug of whatever kind that you want. You can round it off with a pair of scissors and take the stinger off. Makes it another cute thing. Like I said, looks like a thought, oops, with my dirty fingers, looks like a thought bubble. And then a, a set of hearts. So you can use it for all kinds of things. If you have any questions, you can email me. Again, my name is Jan Dufour at yahoo.com. Um, go to stampmesilly.com if you want the project sheet. I have all of the dimensions and that kind of thing on there with pictures so that you can remember how to do it. And if you want to shop, you can go to jandufor.stampinup.net. That's also where you would go if you want to join. Like I said, for the month of January and February during celebration, you get the $125 for $99. Plus, you get to choose one of two different options. Um, the mat, the cleaning thing. Oops, here we go. 
and the glass uh, glass mat. That's one option. Or you can choose an additional $30 worth of products. So you get to choose that as you're filling it out. If you have any questions, just email me. Thanks a lot. Hope you're having a buzzy, happy day.